Kristen, and this is Brain Stuff. When you think about it, airplanes are pretty much amazing. Despite their weight, these enormous metal contraptions can lift hundreds of people into the air. And most of the time, they can do this safely, if not eh, kind of comfortably. Take the Boeing 747-8, for example. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 487.5 tons. Now, for comparison, that's about the same weight of almost 140 average-sized African elephants. And that's a bunch of weight to move, and the engines need a lot of fuel to make that happen, but how much fuel do they need exactly? Now before we answer that, let's ask another question. Why should we care? Well, fuel efficiency and fuel cost is part of how an airline determines ticket prices. So a more efficient airline can theoretically result in lower ticket prices for you. Let's look at a plane on an international trip to see how much fuel it uses per person. And since we're dealing with a lot of numbers, let's set it up this way. I'll use US standard measurements, but since the rest of the world uses the metric system, we'll pop those up on the screen too. So save those comments for something else. So here we go. We're ready for takeoff. A plane like the 747-8 can carry around 63,034 gallons of fuel, giving it the ability to make extremely long flights. So flying from, say, LA to Australia is no problem as long as it's gassed up. However, the plane uses approximately one gallon of fuel every second. And this means that over the course of a 10-hour flight, it might burn 36,000 gallons of fuel, which sounds like a lot, right? Now, according to Boeing, this works out to approximately five gallons of fuel per mile when the plane is in flight. And at first, this might sound like the plane gets a terrible miles per gallon rating and isn't very efficient. But let's remember that the 747-8 isn't some four-door sedan. It can carry as many as 568 people on a very uncomfortable flight. So how does all that fuel work out per person? Well, let's say, for example, that there are 500 people on a plane. So a 747-8 is transporting 500 people one mile using five gallons of fuel. This means that the plane is burning about 0.01 gallons per person per mile. In other words, the plane is getting 100 miles per gallon per person. For comparison, the typical car gets around 25 miles per gallon. So in this respect, the 747 is actually much better than a car carrying one person and compares favorably even if there are four people in the car. Now, of course, this isn't exactly an apples to apples comparison for a number of reasons, but still 100 miles per gallon per person isn't all that bad when you consider that the 747 is flying at about 550 miles per hour. So how about you? How fuel efficient is your private plane? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to Brain Stuff. And hey, you should also check out my channel, Stuff Mom Never Told You. Oh! <laughs>